It's the first time in a month that Mega doesn't have a nursing gown on. <laughs> and um, yeah, and I put on a little eyeliner. I also put on a little perfume so I smell nice. Got this, Matt ordered this. Look at it. <gasps> this would be great for a horror movie if something just crazy happened right or now in there. he just looked up at the camera. Yeah. He's like, God, he's so precious, my little baby. So yeah, he's um, he's down for his first like long nap of the day. But this is a Starbucks video. He can't hear us, right? But if you press talk, I can talk to yeah, him. Yeah, say something to him. No, 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 you might wake him up. I don't, know. Don't wake him up. I was just gonna be like, yo, what's up? Someone's getting a puppuccino, and Mega's driving because I don't know how to order a drive through so she's better at that. He gets very nervous to order things in general. It's like a Kodak Black music video. So first off, we got five tips you need to know before you even go into order. And tip number one, not even in the five, go into order unless you wanna just wait in the drive through all day. But we're gonna go in the drive through because it's easier for filming. Cause like even right now people are looking at us. I don't like it. Check out the blog post cause that has every drink order step-by-step. Step. Tip number one, most of the drinks in there come with sugar unless you're getting black coffee. If you're getting iced coffee, that even comes with sugar. And a lot of the times they have the calories listed next to the drinks on the drink board. So anything that has calories, just assume like 90% of it is from sugar. Yeah, so if you order an iced coffee, you have to say no classic syrup. If you get the cold brew, I usually go cold brew because they don't add anything to that, so I just don't have to chance it. Whipped cream. You might think whipped cream is just heavy cream blended up into a whipped cream. It's not. They add a bunch of sugar to it, so avoid that. Tip number three is you're going to want to avoid most of the milks in there. So normal milk, soy milk they probably have. Half and half if you get it too much of it. But they do have unsweetened almond milk, I believe, right? Yeah. So you could go for that, that's low in carbs. I prefer to usually just go heavy cream. The only thing is they pour so much of it in your drink when you get heavy cream. So we're gonna do a test at the end of this video. How much heavy cream do they put in a drink if you just say, give me a coffee with heavy cream. Skinny drinks are not keto friendly. They're actually the opposite of keto friendly. Skinny means low fat. It doesn't mean low carbs. It means super high sugar. And the last one, the sugar-free syrups, they have some carbs. Most of them are like one carb per pump. And that is because I think they use Splenda, like they use maltodextrin in there. So there's a little bit of carbs in each pump. And if you get some stuff, I think they do like six pumps sometimes, right? Yeah. So just be cautious of that. If you go overboard with the sugar-free stuff, it adds up. Wait, bonus. What? What's a bonus? Always order a puppuccino even if you don't have a dog. Why? What do you do with it if you don't have a dog? Find a dog or... Yeah. Find a dog. Find a dog. Someone's getting tip number six. Alright guys, we're going to be ordering two drinks. A Starbucks Frappuccino, yes it's possible, and a chai tea latte. That's probably my personal favorite. So. But chai means tea. Why would you call it a chai tea? You know, we're in America. We do as Americans do. So that's my personal favorite. That's something I'd probably get. And I'm going to be reading these orders directly off of the blog post that is linked below. And in the blog post linked below, there's 10 total drinks you can check out and you can order them exactly as we've written them. So that's convenient for you. But we're just going to order two today and we'll see how they taste. Starbucks, what can I get for you? Hi, how are you? A tall iced coffee, no classic syrup with heavy cream and two pumps of sugar-free vanilla blended. Then can I also get um, a chai tea with the tea bag, not the syrup, um, with two ounces of heavy cream and two pumps of cinnamon dolce, sugar-free. Yeah, and then can I also get a puppuccino? You sure I can, anything else for you today? That's it. And if you're looking for a dirty chai tea latte, you can also add a shot of espresso. It's not a chai tea latte, it's cha. I know. Now that my mom's here, he's just like, it's a cha, right? Cha, cha. Do you want cha? <laughs> like, up my butt about the cha. I do say cha a lot, but it's really fun. It'll be like 7 p.m. We're like eating dinner. He's like, who wants cha? Vote down below. Why do you think they put the dog treat in the puppuccinos now? I bet you it's because too many people got puppuccinos for free whipped cream. Yeah, I know. Because that's what I would do. Or do you think it's to be extra nice to the dog? No, I think it's to, uh, to ruin it for humans. He's going for the easy one. All right. Half. That's good. He's... Half now, half later. So let's check these out. What do we got? We got this one. That's the frappuccino it looks like. So show them what it says. This is the order. They got it? And then this is the cha order. He's ruined the word chai for me. And check out the website, guys. There's about eight different orders like this, like more complex drinks that you might want to try. I would like this better with espresso, though. You mean dirty? Yeah. 
So look at the consistency it here. It would probably separate if you left it for a while. Yeah, pretty, pretty frappuccino-y though. Look at that. Wow, it smells really good too. Oh, that's lovely. It's probably a lot of heavy cream too. Very good. Now for the cha. And so I said two ounces of heavy cream and she repeated light back to me. So the thing with this is you gotta get the tea bag and not like the syrup they use. They have like some kind of chai syrup, right? Yeah. Oh, that smells amazing. I mean cha. Sorry, I misspoke. Cha. Yeah, you keep... I don't like cha that much. I just like saying the word, but that's pretty good. I'm the true taste tester of a good cha. That's a lot of cream. I guess it's a latte. Two right? ounces. Oh, that's that's amazing. That's yeah, like you a, can get less too. Two ounces, that's four tablespoons, so that's about 100 or 200 calories. That's like winter, like holiday season in a cup. It's definitely like a hot drink morning, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I like that one better, I think, but for the morning, today is a cha morning. So we got two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. It's not that sweet. I would get like a third pump of sugar-free vanilla. Actually, I would probably just have like my own stevia or liquid monk fruit to add to this to make it sweeter. Because frappuccinos are like dessert. So you want it a lot more sweet, ideally, but both really, really good and easy to order. Now we should do that a uh, test with the heavy cream and black coffee. We're back home and I have a heavy cream coffee from Starbucks. This is what I typically order. I say light, they don't always follow my orders. And then we have a black coffee here. So what I wanted to do, just for a quick experiment, see how much heavy cream is actually in a coffee when you order it with heavy cream. This is inexact science. A lot of margin of error. Huge margin of error, but we're gonna try doing this. So what I'm gonna do here is match the colors and weigh the amount of heavy cream that's used. What's your guess? Oh, I thought you were gonna like weigh, weigh the heavy cream coffee and the black coffee, because their weight is different. Oh, uh, that wouldn't, no, that doesn't make sense. First off, we're gonna weigh the heavy cream. She's yeah. hopped up on Puppuccino. Sugar rush. 498 grams. You could just zero it out too, right? Zero grams. We gotta get the color right. This is the inexact science part. Cause you gotta mix it. Yeah. And honestly, this one's like not as much heavy cream as I think they usually put. So that's not even close yet, right? No, not at all. So we're close, but this one's definitely slightly darker. That looks about good. You think? I think a little more. Even, a, yeah. Uh, that might be close. Let's do that as a first measure. It would be better if we were in like a natural light area. Whoa. That's not, I guess that's not too much. 36 grams, that's not much at all. For a small coffee, it's not bad. Probably like 40 grams total. Yeah, it will definitely vary, but if you're getting a small coffee with heavy cream from Starbucks, probably 150 calories tops. Let's take this to natural light and see if the colors match. It might be a little bit more still. Yeah. So probably about three tablespoons total. All right guys, that's the video. If you want more sweet Starbucks orders, check out the blog post, link below. And also, if you have other drink orders that are not on the blog post, list what you get below in the comments and I'll pin the best one or like upvote the best one so we all share ideas. Oh, and one last tip, what's the best food item at Starbucks? Um, probably they're, they have um, a meat and cheese tray. Yeah. That's definitely the best. That's my fave. Yeah, it's like provolone and salami. It's really good. Yeah, and it's like, not a lot of carbs, it's like three carbs. At the airport though, it costs like $11, yeah. but at a normal but Starbucks, still got it. it's like $6. Uh, they also have like a little guacamole cup and like probably veggies and stuff. But yeah, not a ton of great food options at Starbucks. And even if you weren't keto, if you're eating your breakfast at Starbucks, you're missing out.